Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial for Tinkercad. As mentioned before, the goal of using Tinkercad is to get you familiar with Arduino, how you can build circuits using Arduino, and how to program our Arduino. The next assignment is fairly straightforward. You're going to create this same circuit except for a couple modifications. One modification is instead of using port 13 and port 12, those are digital pins, we are going to output from port 7 and port 4. So drive the LEDs with those two ports instead of port 13 and port 12. The other thing I want you to take a look at is how we can use finite loops in Arduino. In this case here you're going to take a look at using for loops and the way a for loop is structured using Arduino is as follows here. We've got a for statement here and then after that we have the parameters for that for statement. It must fit inside these brackets here. So this bracket here and this bracket here this is what is included inside the for loop. And basically what we're saying in this for loop here is starting with k is equal to 1. We don't have to define that variable here. We're just using it in our for loop. We're telling this for loop to continue while k is less than or equal to 5. And for each time through the loop, we are going to add 1 to k. So this for loop will continue a finite amount of times, a countable number of times, until this condition here is no longer met. Once it's no longer met, then it will move to this for loop down here where we will control another port, as you can see here. So you're basically going to set up the same circuit as mentioned except instead of using ports 12 and 13 you're going to use ports 7 and 4. You're going to have to make changes in the code here. The other thing that we're going to do is you are only going to flash each LED three times instead of what I have here. Once you've done that you are going to take a screen capture make sure you've got everything in your screen capture. Make sure you crop it when you're done so I can see all of your code. Put your name at the top here and put the assignment as well here and that's it. You can submit your JPEG to Schoology. That's it. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.